Hello and welcome to Microbiology Bites. This week's podcast is a video based on a paper recently published in PLOS Pathogens. Retroviruses such as HIV enter cells via the interaction between glycoproteins on the surface of the virus particle and cell surface receptors. Since this is such an important step in virus replication, knowledge of the structures of these glycoproteins and the molecular details of their interactions with the cell surface receptors is of great importance. Electron tomography is a powerful approach to determining the three-dimensional structures of large subcellular assemblies such as virus receptor interactions. The images are built up from a series of optical sections generated in the electron microscope. In this paper, the authors used the method to examine the interaction of purified SIV variants with CD4-positive target cells. The envelope glycoproteins of primate lentiviruses such as HIV are heterodimers of a transmembrane glycoprotein, GP41, and a surface glycoprotein, GP120, which binds CD4 on the surface of target cells to initiate virus entry. The trimeric virus envelope glycoprotein surface spikes are around 120 angstroms long and approximately 120 angstroms wide at the distal end. Docking of the virus on the T-cell surface occurs via a neck-shaped contact region that's about 400 angstroms wide and consists of a closely spaced cluster of 5 to 7 rod-shaped features, each about 100 angstroms long and 100 angstroms wide. This distinctive structure isn't observed when viruses are incubated in, with T-lymphocytes in the presence of anti-CD4 antibodies or with drugs which block the interaction of GP120 and CD4. This data shows that lentiviruses make contact with T-cells via a unique structure which the authors call the entry claw. This is typically composed of six clustered rods that span the contact region. Further investigation of the structure of this entry claw and its formation could lead to new insights into the design of more effective drugs to inhibit HIV infection.